I'm going to mention now the, the John Wheeler uh, delayed choice a double split experiment or drum. Um, uh, so what this is is you have a you fire photons uh, through two slits, mm -hmm. and uh, if it's a photon that you've got, if it's a particle, then it will go through one slit or the other slit, but not both. Right, and it will produce on a screen on the other side of the slit. It will produce a wave interference pattern, which is like a width of uh, bandwidth, as if waves were hitting the shore. You get a pattern on the sand. Right? So that shows that light is a wave. But if you shoot a photon through a double slit and you record, you observe. It's doing so by having a device which will record which slit it goes through. Right. Remember, it's supposed to only go through one or, yeah. or, or it goes through both. Well, we don't know which. Well, if you observe it, it turns into a particle. So fire a photon through a double slit and you get a wave pattern. Right. But observe it going through the slit and you get a particle hitting the screen. And part so you get little spots on the screen. It's not a wave pattern at all. So observing it changes what it does. It changes what it is. So uh, he would say, Wheeler would say, but that means the wave is changed into a particle when you observe it. Uh, it's even worse than that, because if you let the photon go through the split, you don't know where it has gone through both to be a wave or one to be a particle. You don't know that. Mm. After it's gone through the split, you observe it. You have a little device for observing it. You still find it turns into a particle, even after it's gone through the slits. So oh. that is why it's incomprehensible. Nobody knows why that happens at all. But the bottom line is this, because the bottom line is what you seem to have in reality is wavelengths, which are not physical, they're more mathematical, really. They're, they're, they're constructs more than anything else. They stand for something, but we not clear, certainly not particles. But when you observe them, you will get particles. And the bottom line there is observation creates particles, i.e. mass. Particles are massive things. They've got mass. So uh, that that's... That makes the link between mind, consciousness, observation, and physical reality. And so that's why materialism doesn't seem uh, to be uh, appropriate or adequate for quantum mechanics. It, it, it's just not lumps of matter. It's a much more complicated process. So people like Roger Penrose, for example, who with Stephen Hawking uh, did the black holes mathematics, um, he's, he says, uh, actually, the platonic, he calls it platonic reality of mathematics, is more real than the physical things that we observe. So matter is not even totally real. It's just an appearance to us, to the human mind, of something which is mathematically expressible, but whatever it is, it's not matter, but it's, it's something we can't pack picture at all. 